Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and this is Ambernet Store. Before we get started into today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and become a lifelong neighbor of the Ambernet Store. I would love to have you forever and ever, ever. Comment down below, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you know when Ambernet Store is coming to your door. Share with your family and friends. So if you got all that and you jotted it down and you already kind of started doing what I just told you to do, Let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so I cannot believe it. First of all, it's the end of October. Today is Halloween. I cannot believe it. And um, I kind of debated what I wanted to do for the end of October. Um, and today's video is not my usual um, like fall decor, self-care kind of videos. Today, well, no, it can be in the self-care category because it is a very important topic um, um, about your health. And so, I'm going to be talking about breast cancer awareness today. If you didn't know, October is breast cancer awareness month. And I chose the very, very last day of October to discuss it with you guys so that you guys can carry it on with you beyond October. So yeah, breast cancer awareness month. I am not an expert. I do want to talk about it though because it's very important. I'm a woman. Um, not that we'll get into that though. Not that just because I'm a woman and if you're not a woman. This, is, this shouldn't be important to you but it does hit close to home for me um my maternal grandmother passed away um, from cancer um one of my aunts on my dad's side has passed away from breast cancer i have a my, my other aunt on my um dad's side is a breast cancer survivor and i'm pretty sure i'm missing some other couple important people in my life just hard to my head and not my heart but yeah it hits close to home so i'm very um i want to be more involved in the conversation i want to be more hands-on um in this matter and um some of the ways that you can get involved with uh, breast cancer awareness is there's um so many different walks that go on throughout the country you can just google um the ones in your area if you do want to travel definitely there, there's always some kind of walk um or a charity going on i know for me i bank with bank of america and I'm, a I'm able to do the susan g coleman um debit card and that what that does is just um when you apply for that card um any purchase i make i believe is every purchase i make a percentage of that goes to that charity um that fund for breast cancer awareness um and there's also just different um charities you can um you know give your money to but i would just um be sure to google it and um so you don't so you really know where your money's going and i don't want you to you know get scanned or anything so those are the, just three ways you can um get involved and donate to the cause okay so when it comes to things like cancer um obviously there's no way to really prevent it um sometimes unfortunately people um have it they um get it and one of the best things to do with cancer especially breast cancer is um early detection and for as women you know there's like a few ways to um do your early detection um every month just um you can check um your breasts because your our, our breasts are always changing i know for me um starting when it gets close to my cycle they're really really sore um or they, they seem a little bit more engorged or things like that so it's definitely important to you know every month check your breasts just go all around check to see what's what's different what's um not different and don't be alarmed if you do feel them because sometimes you do get lumps towards your cycle or inner cycle if you're ovulating we have so many things that go on with our bodies it's just pretty annoying isn't it but you really just want to check for certain things and if there's a persistent lump that's when you head on to the doctor and you do a, a clinical testing so your doctor can feel she she or he um knows what certain lumps to look out for they know when something's a little bit different if you are over the age of 40 that's when you're going to do the mammograms um well usually let me just say that if you are over the age of 40 that's when you go get your mammograms done that's when they do an x-ray um of your breast and they're able to detect um a, a, a lump they're able to detect the lumps that you probably are not able to feel so definitely do that. And of course, obviously, if your doctor, you know, talk to your doctors. Um, if you're able to 
and she's able to see that you know you have a pattern in, in your family history or if she can see that you're more at risk for breast cancer then of course if you're younger than 40 go she will you know schedule you for a mammogram and things like that and it's that of course is scary but i promise you um early just the earlier the better that way they can tackle it um there's so many different ways to treat um breast cancer and other different cancers you know there's um there's homeopathic ways there's um chemotherapy there's radiology there's just different clinical trials that they have done and there's no one way to say like this cures breast cancer because as you guys would know like movies and just you know experience with my family those things don't work all the time but again um early detection don't be scared touch yourself in the shower before you go to bed just please just check for all the different all the different ways all the different you know feelings of your breast and things like that okay I am going to leave um, the links below to all the different clinical trials, all the different um, foundations um, that you can look into for yourself and do your own personal research. I will be leaving the National Breast Cancer uh, Foundation Incorporated um, information down below because that's where you'll be able to educate yourself. They have books that you can um, register for and things like that. And then I also wrote down some of the myths that they give because again when it's stuff like this serious stuff like this a lot of times we just you know talk just to talk and we don't really know the facts like uh, most of us are not doctors and you really when it comes to things like this you want to be as on top of it as possible and you want to have the correct information so i do have a couple of myths myths that i want to debunk for us today um the first myth is that drinking milk will cause breast cancer no there's no research there's no st studies have been done there's nothing no evidence has been linked to this you guys um another one is that the deodorant you use um is is another cause for breast cancer there has not been any evidence nothing has been found and to, for that to be true of course um there are different there's definitely um harmful chemicals and some of the um things we use in our bodies but yeah no not your deodorant your deodorant is not going to cause breast cancer um men don't get breast cancer no you guys everyone can get breast cancer if you have like the tissue men have breast tissue as well it's just not as prominent as ours but yes no men do not are not exempt from breast cancer just because it's called breast cancer um and the last one is that it's contagious i never thought people th even thought this could be true but no um it's not contagious it's something um that you can't just pass on to someone just by touching them, breathing around them, it's not in that way. So guys, yeah, that's um, all the information I really have today for you guys, just so you can carry it on with you um, before we jump right into the holidays and things like that on this channel. Um, just very, yeah, just be proactive in it. I would definitely love it. Comment down below if there's something I'm missing. Comment down below if there's something I could get involved um, in in my area. I'm in the DMV area. So if you know of anybody, if you know of any other um, healthcare providers that um, I can link up with and just um, get more involved with in the conversation, um, I would love that. So just definitely comment down below. If you also have been um, a victim of breast cancer or someone in your family um, has passed away or is going through it right now, I would definitely love for you to comment down below so I can send my light, love, and prayers. Um, and yeah, guys, it's a serious matter. It is still Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is the last day. I'm trying to wear my pink for you guys. And yeah, because if you didn't know, like one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her life. So definitely, definitely um, become more hands-on with me. Okay, so before I leave, like I said before, subscribe to Amber Net Store so you could become more self-aware yourself. Self-care is so important. And all the other fun things that we have going on in this channel, uh, comment down below, share with your family and friends, and hit the notification bell so you know when Amber Net Store is coming to your door. And I will see you very, very soon, you guys. Love you.